Hey everybody, it's me, Salafox, <clears throat> and we are going to be doing another couple videos on my server. As you can see, um, we actually have another player on the server, but they will not be able to talk. They can just, uh, you know, type and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's see uh, what they're up to. So, okay, here we go. I've added a new mod into the game. Um, it's called Iron Chests. There are three different types, I believe. And this one right here is the Diamond Chest. It holds a crap load of space. So, it's a good little thing. Um, yeah, I got a nice little wall of light going on because there was an Enderman issue I had spawning down here was not happy with it so added a nice little wall of light haven't seen them since now over here as you remember from our last set of videos we made the rail well I took some time and made a cart loading system so it took a little while but it, it's worth it it's nice we got the buttons to go I got the return system right here to put the cart back in the hopper. We got my little entrance down to the room so you can see it. You got this is where the cart drops down, hits the power track, comes along here, goes straight through, right back up and into the hopper again. So we got the wiring that goes through it, the wiring over there and the power ramps up. So basically what all of that does for you is this. When I push the button to call the cart it opens and all the other carts move down by one spot. Then our cart lands there, we can push the button to go. But then when you come back on the cart you go forward and you'll stop right there and then when you get out of the cart you're forced to step on this pressure plate the pressure plate sends the cart back down and in a second here we'll see it come up the ramp and there you go and it lands right back in the thing and the hopper is full again so on that note I plan to build this again on the other side of the tracks all the way at Heather's location that way when you get there you'll get off the track and it will drop into the hopper and then you can call it and come back this way and so on also I plan to upgrade the tracks here um, I remember I was talking about the railcraft setup and how it likes to explode while well, I was playing around with it and I may have been able to get it to work. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'll show you what happens. Get some high speed. Some of you, you. And maybe a couple more of you. Okay, what am I missing? That should be good. Okay, so I'll start with some high speed rails. And I will show you what happens if you try to make a turn. Now these are the booster rails for it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to put a cart down. And if this works, like it's most likely going to, it's going to explode when it hits that corner. Okay, that did not work. Okay then. Because those are the wrong rails. We want these rails. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, it still did not explode. Uh, people are probably thinking I'm making this stuff up on it exploding on you. It really does. Just gotta. Okay. I know if I was in the cart, it'll probably explode on me. Turn the magnet on so I don't have to re get everything. Okay. Of course, now it's not going to explode at all. So, yeah. Just my luck. So, if that's the case, do it this way. Because it does explode. I've been experimenting with it, trying to get it to work right, so. Put those down. A detector rail. On this side we'll put a detector rail. That. Those. Okay, so. If it doesn't explode. Nope, wrong way cart. And there you go. So you can't make turns with the uh, rail system going at full speeds or even half a full speed. So basically what you need to do is you need to use high speed transition rails so these rails here you just place them backwards and you can power them if you want to you don't have to but basically sometimes you'll need to also place a couple of them so keep that in mind um, but if that's enough it should slow us down when we get to it and prevent us from exploding. I mean, if you notice, we get pretty good speeds going around these corners. Then there are some other cool tracks that we have with this railcraft. There is um, tracks to use as like elevators, priming tracks for TNT, um, and a few other things. So I'm going to go ahead and block this off again. That's just my little test area. So, now that you've seen that, we will, I guess, hmm, should I redo the tracks or attempt to build another one of these?